<laughs> wow. Welcome to No Authority Field here in Indica Springs, Colorado, where the munchies are so intense, no one minds paying $30 for nachos, including me, and I'm cheap. Fire up and blast some Zeppelin. It's time for some mile-high football. <laughs> <laughs> Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The National Lycans battle. The Mile High Chronic. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? If you're just waking up wondering who put that vice on your head and filled your mouth with vacuum cleaner, dirt, and cat litter, you're not alone. After all, it's Sunday, MFL game day. Hey, you look tired, Junior. And bricks look like they just use your head in field goal practice. Spent all night in the ER. We ate Chinese food last night. Food poisoning? I wish! I got the chopsticks lodged in my ears again. You know, they should have a warning on them things. And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. Second down and ten. And that's a great nine yard completion there. Hey, it ain't great if you don't score or move the chains. And that'll bring up third and one. Hey, guys, this isn't funny. I swear to drunk, I'm not God, but seriously, stay in drunk. Oh, what the brutal hit! Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot Great throw and a great catch, but sadly to the wrong team. Oh, that is one big mutant sandwich down there. One guy's dead. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, oh his head just exploded. Let him miss, let him miss. Oh, shit. First down in less than a year. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. Defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot It's a six-yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And he was stuck to him like glue. Third 
seven and four. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And it's first and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? If you get one more bullshit pounding, you get one more for free. You'll also probably lose the game. Just do the attack ref's dirty trick. <laughs> First down in inches. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. <laughs> Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. Oh, did he take a punishing hit? You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? Yeah, the waitress at the Boo Hooters chicken wings last night? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then, then the police horse is out front in the stadium earlier. It was just a joke slap, but the horse took it seriously. Not surprised. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Second down and nine. Hot. Hot one. Hot two, hot three. Ah, another interception. Please, you give this guy a bigger pick. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They had the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's 
first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Nice run there for it. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. Second down and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot two. Get your motor running. It's Chainsaw. <laughs> And it's first and ten. He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. Second and three. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. You know this preserve dirty trick ain't there gonna kill me. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. This guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. And he just slipped away. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot three. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Hot. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but... I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Well, the 
it should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. He's not going down, and he's off to the races. He's at the 10. And that was equal parts great run and bad defense. First down at six. This guy's a brick shithouse. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. You know, letting these dogs into the league is a slippery slope, Grim. First them, then vampires, then mermaids, and then before you know it, we're letting in cat girls. You know, things really start to get weird at that point. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Hot one. And he breaks away. You're like a monkey trying to fuck a grease. First down! This guy just loves to hit people. It's a vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. I think the defense had too much time on their hands, so they took some of it back with a time warp dirty trick. That last play was completely erased from time. Uh, you know, I, I use that kind of power to like, I nuke the world, but then, sure, getting rid of a play works too. Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. With another pick, the QB says, I don't always throw interceptions, but when I do, it's when the game is on the line. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. And it's first and ten. play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Second down and ten. <laughs> Nicely done for a first down. First down and three. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting the quarterback passes for a touchdown. And viewers at home, don't worry, he doesn't have fleas. He's just not a very good dancer. I have fleas, and I can't dance that good. I would uh, think you to stay on the other side of the booth, Bricks. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. 
When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. You know, a lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the grounds crew cleaning him up. Now. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And it's first and ten. Second down in a mile. Oh, he's going berserk. The ball carrier better watch out because if he gets you. I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw it to the guy in the same color jersey. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And it's first and ten. Footprints to the new line. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stomp all over his opponents. I want to take a beast boost injection too. Uh, now that has weird side effects, Bricks. Second down and a very lot. And it's two minutes left in the half. I can't wait to the halftime show. Second down and a lot. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> it's two-yard run before he stopped. And that'll be second and eight to go. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage. It's a gain of seven yards on the catch. Nicely done. Second, and they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. It's a catch for a one-yard gain. That's not going to do it, fellas. Third and two. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock-blocked the clock. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry-up. Yeah, same as Prince's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah, that's why. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. 
And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stupsing time. And he's running like, oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, he should at least kill And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blast for me. And there's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a patient prison break. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry up. Off. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, with the brutal hit. <laughs> At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries. Makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. The third quarter is about to start as the teams take the field. This game has been one lopsided route. Yeah, football games are kind of like boobs. They're big or small, they're both great. Except for when they're lopsided. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't... And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Field. And now they can taste sound, but can't remember what the concept of time is. Second down and long. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. 
He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He's at the 40. The 30. The 20. The 10. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Hey, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They just be caught. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Ma, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. Excuses for this QB. You just, you just. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of brown mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defense. He broke free and has open field in front of him. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, Grim. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. And it's first and ten. Man, he's running like a bull on steroids. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. And it's first and ten. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Second down and ten. Throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this 
morning. He could go all the way. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potatoes. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't always throw interceptions, but when I do, it's when the... Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. You can't keep a good mutant down. Oh, man, he just crushed him. <laughs> I got to see that again. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. He might consider running the ball more. And it's first and ten. for a first down. And it's first and ten. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest. I don't see a chance in hell in here. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Hot two. Hot three. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. In a hurry up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, look at One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. Pow! <laughs> with the brain scrambler! Thank you. 
Second down and seven. Man, he just laid the wood on him on that one and knocked the ball out. Oh, man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. Oh, what a brutal hit! They all have lost their final running back. Lucky for them, they're on defense now. Yeah, lucky to survive so much bad luck, carnage, and death, Grim. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they do that? How many times do we have to explain it to you? It saves the clock, dumbass. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my offseason. And he just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback's going to be hurting. Or dead. Or worse. Man, this coach must have played too many video games. You got to punt it here. Come on. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He's hit the party. Oh, the worm swallows him whole and goes down like the last shot of whiskey in an Irish wing. You know, my wife went to Scotland. She came home with a Scottish tapeworm. Not a big eater, though, so that's good. More of a drinker, really. Passed off by 18 year old McCallum the other morning at the breakfast table. And they line up for the extra point. for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Jordan. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Yeah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's pleading with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. First down in a mile. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go off. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? That is such bullshit. This game is bucking red. I tell you, the programmers are speeding up the defense. I'm going to write an email to that fucker. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Quinn? Aren't we all? He refuses to go down. Man, oh, uh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why, with no players left on their roster and an empty bag of weed, the Mile High Chronic loses by forfeit. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Balin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...